Hey, good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and um, hope everyone's doing well. And you know, you're appreciating your blessings from our Father, as you know, it's great. Um, I'm gonna read a little scripture and um, and hope it helps somebody. So let's go ahead and um, get into this. And um, is what you say is you know, uh, like and subscribe, share and. Um, if you want to know where I'm reading from, look in the description. I'm doing that all for a reason, so, you know, people will go in and find what I'm doing and, um, you know, do their research, do their work. So, thank you. Jesus, thank you. All right, let's go. Remember the people to be... Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient to be ready to do whatever is good, to, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate and always to be gentle toward everyone. At one time we were foolish, disobedient, deceived and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become hearers having hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying, and I want you to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law, because these are unprofitable and useless. Warning divisive person once, then warn them a second time. After that, having nothing to do with them. You may be sure that such people are warped and sinful. They are self-condemned. Well, I love y'all. And, um, you know, I was a little late today, you know, because I do, you know, work nights. And sometimes I, you know, do things, you know, work during the day and, you know, and I take my blessings as they come, and, you know, and just remember, you know, you, you can only try so much with some people, and some people got demons in them, and some demons just, just won't, you know, you could try once, you could try twice, and after that, you know, just wipe, wipe the dust off the feet and leave. You know, it's done. There's more out there that you need to worry about than this one person that don't want to worry about anything. So I love y'all and um, keep your nose in the word and put your feet on the ground and spread it. That's our job. We are soldiers for Christ. We have to do this. We can't be scared. They will come out. The demons, they will come out and they will come on you and try to push you down and, you know, try to use Jesus' name to, to put guilt in your heart. You know, watch out for those kind of people, you know. Just stay patient and um, remain strong. Remain faithful. Um, stay in your prayers and listen to your heart what your path is. I love y'all and may God bless all y'all's paths.